I think in a Jurassic movie, it's so important the level of reality in recreating those dinosaurs. They need to feel 100% real. There are a few sequences in this film which almost are made for practical effects. Yeah, that's pretty Those scenes were built specifically to be able to use animatronics in a way that we couldn't in the first film. I've been able to ride on the back of a T-Rex. Can you imagine how my children reacted when I told them that? Buena, Tick. Muy bien. Como si lo hubieras hecho toda la vida. What Neil did with the design and the mechanics of these animals was amazing. Whoa, yeah, great, okay. There are quite a few scenes where we're interacting more closely with the dinosaurs, with Blue. The actors hadn't really seen Blue perform, and so they walked onto the truck, and there's just a dinosaur lying on the table, breathing and shivering, yeah. and they just completely engaged with it. Ah, it's so real! Can you buy justice? Put your hand in here. Come on, Jay. Come on. Come on. I don't want to. Come on. Ah! To have this entire team of puppeteers beneath her creating that performance, we were able to create some really beautiful connection between man and beast. Hola, pequeña. To look at the Indoraptor as a further genetic experiment, and the idea that this is not necessarily 100% successful is a really exciting possibility. So that we're seeing some degrading of skin or flaking of scales or some form of illness beginning to take place. To me, Jurassic Park was a new era. It was the beginning. So to be able to be part of that, it's an exciting thing. Down. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That's it. You're going to put a T-Rex on the screen. I mean, you know, it... <laughs> so awesome. I don't quite know how to articulate it. It's just thrilling. <laughs> this is the crew that really brought this to life. I want to say thank you to everybody, and well done, everyone. It's been absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to see it.